M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's program the Yesu FT818ND using the CAT62 USB cable. Now we're going to also use Chirp, free download here, just click download and you will end up with a program that looks like this. Okay, there's Chirp, blank version of Chirp. Okay. So now we need to just find our COM port, plug in the cable into your computer and into the into your radio. The rear of the radio looks like this. And you plug it into here, look, ACC. And just be careful, get it the right way around, three small little holes at the top because uh, you don't want to bend those pins. And once you've got it in there, the device manager, right click these four squares, bottom left, device manager. When you're in device manager look for ports about three quarters of the way down double click and you should see this prolific usb to serial com port and mine is com3 so want yours will be a different number so now back to chirp program which is free go radio download from radio choose your com and now you need to get the radio into com mode as well into clone mode Choose Yesu, so Yesu, they got a big drop down list there, right at the bottom, and then 818 we're on. Click OK. Now you need to get the radio into clone mode as it says here. Turn off the radio, hold down the, uh, the mode buttons are above the screen to the left. The two arrows that go right and left are the mode buttons. Hold them down and then turn on the radio, and it will make that noise, and then it says clone mode. Now click OK and press the A key, OK and then A. And we're now reading everything that's on the radio. Like so. Which is great and everything will populate. Now we've got memories tab here on the top left. You've got memory, says the word memories. And underneath we've got settings and you can go through the different settings, you know, this one, well, I won't describe them all to you. Just go through them and just get a feel for them. They're similar to what's on the radio. Panel settings, look, you've got the color. Extended menu here. Antenna selection. CW, basics. And then the memories, which is the one we're interested in, really. You've got some that are in there by default. And then if you want to create one, I've got some here that I've already created. You just double click the number. So we're on 19 here. The next one is 20. Type in the frequency you want. So let's go 145.600 for a repeater. Call it GB3WR. Select our tone. So we've got the frequency, the name, the tone. Now the tone frequency, which is 94.8. I've clicked the wrong one there. 94.8 to the left. And then just to the right, you've got DTCS code. We're not doing that. Duplex, yes. If it's a repeater, minus. If it's not a repeater, just leave it as, as none. Minus. And then, yes, we are FM. You've got all the modes there. Look, Digi, USB, LSB. It's all there. Narrow FM. And then if you want to change your shift, you can. I can't see that you can change power. Someone tell me if you can. So once you've decided what you want to do and decided what settings you want to use... And don't forget, you can export files and import files, CSV files. We will have a go at this repeater book thing, but we're not going to do it in this video. Right, so once you've done that, then we'll go radio. Now, writing back to the radio, you've got to be quite quick when you hit that button. So watch this. Go radio, upload to radio. Same process. Click OK, but this time... Get your finger on the C button, so it's the third button along from the screen. Get ready to press it. As soon as you click OK, press it. And I, Because I have found that if you don't, you get this error, fail to communicate radio. Click OK, and then just try push the C button again. So go File, Upload to Radio. I'm pushing the C button, and click OK. And if you do it a few times, eventually it does it. Let's try it again. Click OK. Click OK. It keeps failing now, of course. There you go. I sort of clicked OK, quickly pressed the C button, and you don't get that error. So um, 
that's how you clone. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit fiddly because it makes you think there's something wrong with the actual software, but that isn't. So that's gone into the radio, and then now you can reboot your radio, turn it off, turn it back on, and then any push VM, and anything new you've added is there. And then the next thing we'll try it on a separate video, this repeater book. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. All the best. Bye for now.